one operation phase two under construction but what about phase three why is there no information available about phase three why is there no detailed video about phase three do you want to know more about the phase three then you have come to the right video because in this video we are going to talk about the phase three of thermometry so let us talk about phase three in this video the phase three is going to add three lines in 80 kilometers to the Bangalore metro network and this is going to be a huge fact now let us talk about each one of these lines so the corridor one of the orange line will run from JP Nagar fourth phase to Kempapura to length of 32.15 kilometers for 22 stations the corridor two will run from Kosahalli to Kadubageri for a length of 12.50 kilometers, and this line will have nine stations. Corridor three will run from Sarjapur to Nepal for a length of 35.40 kilometers, and the line will have 29 stations. So this was a brief about each of these three lines. Now the phase 3 is overall divided into phase 3A and phase 3B. The phase 3A consists of the two lines, the JP Nagar phase 4 to Kempapura line and the Hosa Hali Kadvigiri line. Whereas phase 3B consists of the Sarjapur Hepal line. So this is how phase 3 is classified. Now the rights or the real India and economical survey has made the DPR for the phase 3A that is the orange line and the Musa Ali Kitpagiri line and the DPR for the detailed project report has been submitted to the government and the RENA consultancy has been awarded the contract to make the DPR for the detailed project report for phase 3B. Now let us talk about the phase 3A. The phase 3A will consist of two lines. One, the JP Nagar fourth phase to Kempapura orange line, and two, the Husa Halli to Kadbageri line. This has not been given any color code as of now. While the orange line will be 32.15 km, the Husa Halli Kadbageri line will be 12.5 km. Both the lines are expected to be elevated and will have one common depot at Sumanda Halli Cross where the both the lines are going to intersect. Now let us talk about the stations on corridor 1 and corridor 2. So on corridor 1 the stations are going to be JP Nagar 4th phase where you will be able to interchange with the pink line metro running from Kalina Agrahara to Nagawara. Then we will have JP Nagar 5th phase. JP Nagar. Over here, you will be able to interchange with the green line, which is the operational green line that runs from Silk Institute to Nagasandra. Then we will have Kadiri Nahalli, Kamakya Junction, where you will be able to most probably interchange with the Kamakya bus depot. Then we have the Hosa Kerehalli Cross, then Dwarka Nagar. Mysuru Road. At Mysuru Road, you will be able to interchange with the purple line. Then we have Nagar Bhavi Road. Then we have Vinayaka Layout. Papa Reddy Pandya. BDA Complex Nagar Bhavi. Sumanna Halli Cross. Where you will be able to interchange with the second corridor of phase 3. That is the Hosahali to Kadbagiri line. Then we have Chaudeshwari Nagar. Freedom Fighters Colony, Kanti, Kanti Ravanagar, Pinya. At Pinya, you will be able to interchange with the green line which will run from Silk Institute to Nagasandra. Then we have Muthyalaya Nagar, BEL Circle, Naga Shetty Halli, and Hebal Railway Station where an interchange facility will be provided with the railway station and then Finally, Kempapura. Now you will be able to interchange with the blue line. Now let us talk about the corridor 2. 
a corridor too will have nine stations. They are Mosahalli, where you will be able to interchange with the Purple Line. Then KHB Colony, Kamakshi Palya, Sumanahalli Cross, where you will be able to interchange with the Orange Line that will run from JP Nagar Fort Space to Kempapuram. Then we have Sungar Katte, Hero Halli, Baitara Halli, Forest Gate, and Kadbagere. And Kadbagere will be the terminus. Now, the, please note that these stations are the proposed stations, and the, uh, and the stations, their location, and the names might change during the actual implementation. Then, in phase 3a, uh, Bangalore City will see two more road cam rail flyovers. Currently, there is one road cam rail flyover that is under construction in the yellow line that will run from Ragi Kutta to Central Silk Road. This is going to be the only road cam rail flyover in phase 2. And you can know more about it on our yellow line video. And I will try to leave a link to that video in the description box below and in the comments below. So, Abandoned City will see two more automatic flyovers in Phase 3. Then, this Phase 3 lines are going to make numerous interchanges with the operational and under construction network of Bangalore Metro. Let us have a look at the interchanges on the map. So, one, the interchange will be uh, at JP Nagar fourth phase with the pink line. Right now, we are talking about the orange line. Then, we will have at JP Nagar with the green line. At Mysore Road with the purple line, at Sumanna Halli Cross, at Pinya with the green line, and at Kempapura with the orange line. Sorry, at Kempapura with the blue line. Then we'll have at Usa Halli with the purple line. Over here also we'll have an interchange. And at Sumanna Halli Cross, both corridor 1 and corridor 2 of phase 3A are going to intersect. So we are going to have numerous interchange points in phase 3a of Nama Metro. Now, phase 3a is estimated to cost around rupees 16,300 crores and both the lines are expected to open in the year 2028. Now, let us talk about the phase 3b of Nama Metro. The phase 3b it will consist of one line it is going to be the Sarjapur to Hebal line. This line will be 35.40 km long. Of these 35.4 km, 18.6 km is expected to be elevated and the remaining 16.8 km is expected to be underground from Kormangula to Hebal. So, the experts and actors welcome this line's announcement because this line will cut through the city's Four areas. Now, before uh, BMRCL had released this line many years ago in phase 3 as the Carmel Ram Yellow line, but this line was put into cold storage in favor of the controversial elevated corridor project. Now, for many years, we can see that the line has been further extended to the southeast side of the Vyapusar Jabur and uh, on the northern side it has been limited or reduced to Hebal, but that's fine because the Hebal Vilahanka services can be covered by the blue line that will run from the central silver Kyapurim Kepigona International Airport. The Mumbai-based firm Lina Consultancy has been awarded the contract to make this line's detailed project report. So, the proposed stations on this line are Sarjapura. Sompura, Dhamma Sandra Circle, Muthanallur Cross, Sulikunte, SEZ Kodati, Vipro, Karmila Ram, where we can uh, I get an idea that we will be able to interchange with the Karmila Ram Railway Station. Then we have Dodda Kanneli Gate, Kai Kondra Halli, Belandur Gate. Ibalu. At Ibalu, you will be able to interchange with the blue line. Then we have Agara. At Agara, also you will be able to interchange with the blue line. 
Now it is possible that both these lines, the blue line and the Sajapur Hepa line, will run parallel to each other in, the, in between Nebulun and Nagara. But this is just a possibility. The DBR has not been released yet. Then we have Chakka Sandra. Till here, the line is expected to be elevated. After this, the line will go underground. This is expected. Then the stations we'll have are Kormangla. Kormangla is our first underground station. Then we have St. John's Road, Sutta Gante Pallya. Then we have Dairy Circle, where we'll be able to interchange the Dandi Construction Pink Line that will run from Kalina Agarara to Nagwara. Then we have Nibhans. Then we have Wilson Garden. Then we have Town Hall, Central College. At Central College, you will be able to interchange with the operational purple line that runs from Kengeri to Bahia Padmahalli. Then we have Vasaveshwara Circle, Kaningam Road, Palace Gutta Halli, and Mekri Circle, Gangena Halli, Veterinary College. And finally, Hebbal. At Hebbal, you'll be able to interchange with the blue line that will run from Central Silkport, then go to Kyarpuram, and then all the way up to Kente Koda International Airport. And you will also be able to interchange with the orange line here, possibly, that we have discussed earlier in this video, and that will run from JP Nagar Fort Space to Kempapuram. Now, please note that these stations that we've discussed are also a proposed stations and they can also change when the project is implemented. And the line's estimated cost is around 15,000 crores and this line is estimated to open in around 2032. So what looks like this in 2022 with only two lines? Our number metro network went down to something like this with so many lines in 2022. And if we see that in all of the entire fiber metro, uh, metro network, the phase 3 is contributed or will contribute to around 80 kilometers of the 250 kilometer futuristic fiber metro network. So phase 3, which is phase 3A and 3B, will have a major contribution to Bangalore metro's network and it will add thousands and lakhs of passengers to Nama metro's ridership daily. So, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for 1000 subscribers we've recently touched. Thank you very much. Keep watching our videos. Thank you.